Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? It's Marisa. So today I am back at it again with the James Charles palette. This is, um, I'll link the video I did, um, the other day. This is his collab with Morphe. This is the mini palette. I really fell in love with this because the colors are beautiful and I got inspired by this palette to do, um, a painting. I did it the other day, okay? So I'm going to show you really quick what colors I chose out of this palette. I only chose like four, uh, four more colors plus the black, okay? I already swatched them on my hand here. So this color here is this beautiful color right here, okay? This color is this one right above it. And then we're doing this gold here and this lighter gold, okay? So that's the darker gold and that's the lighter gold. Now you don't have to like makeup, you don't have to wear makeup, you don't have to know anything about it. But if you know anything about color and pigment, this is really great. And it inspired me because I love highly pigmented paint. I love highly pigmented makeup. Um, it's very easy to work with. And I just fell in love with it and I got inspired. So, um, I'm going to be continuing to do um, other makeup. In the, in the future, like what I feel inspired by, I'm not doing every single piece of makeup I buy, but if I see a really beautiful palette and I think it's really great, I just naturally am going to get inspired by it. So these are the colors that I chose. Now one of the colors does not match perfectly, but I just, I missed using the Arteza pouring acrylic, so I chose one of those colors. But the first color I thought of was this one. This is for the deeper this is metallic wine red. So it's for this one right here. I thought that was perfect. Um, this one is the one that doesn't match exactly, but this is a bronze. And I'm just choosing it for this one, even though to me this is like more of a copper. I think I used up all my copper already if it did come with it um, in this kit. But I just wanted to use this color. Uh, we're also going to use the black. I'm going to be coating the canvas with the black. So that's the three Arteza pouring acrylics. And in, my, in many of my other vi videos, when I first got this kit, um, if you don't know, you cannot use water. So um, in the other paints, there is absolutely no water. Just letting you know. Okay? Now for this darker gold here... We're going to be using the Montmartre um, gold with the Montmartre um, acrylic flow medium, okay? Now for this lighter shade of gold, I am using Arteza again, but I'm using it in the tubes. I love this color. This is a pearl golden hour. Look, it's gone. It's it's almost gone. Oh my god. What am I going to do? So I mixed... Oh, I got some in my hands. And I mixed a little bit of the pearl white so that um, it's even lighter. I want a big difference between the two golds. So that's what I did. It is already in this cup. And I did use, with that, the um, U.S. Uh, Art Supply, the gloss pouring medium. And just one huge drop of uh, silicone pouring medium. Excuse me, silicone pouring oil. Okay? So that is what we're using today. And I was cleaning out my kitchen. And I found this very, very cool um, funnel. And it's tiny, but it has this cool little tip to it. It's like on a slant. So I want to try this today. All right, that's what I'm going to be doing. 
and I don't have the canvas out but I am going to be using a six by six inch um, canvas it's actually over there I didn't have it in front of me sorry I forgot those are some old sculptures I did years ago they're about 30 40 pounds each anyway but before we get started I just want to show you really quick how the pour from yesterday dried and I am so excited to say that the pouring masters paint with their own medium and the Montmart with uh, Montmart with its own medium they mixed perfect there was no problems whatsoever I am so excited because I was I really love this painting and I was really hoping and praying that it came out good this stayed exactly the way it was I am so thrilled that it just dried exactly the way I wanted to There's a little bump over there I think or something but you know I don't care about that <laughs> but just like all of like the movement in here it just stayed perfect exactly the way I wanted so I'm really happy with it oh yeah and very um something I found out the hard way and I think this is the reason why I was having issues with the pouring masters is that I think I was using them without the medium in a couple of my paintings and that it had a lot of bubbles I had some issues and I looked on their website because I when I wanted to I uh, get some more of it this like huge kit um, it's like 48 colors I had said um, I think in yesterday's video um, you have to use it's not pre-mixed you have to use the medium that's why I had bubbles possibly that's why I was having issues with it it was like drawing funky and funny and now that I use the medium in the proper way um, I didn't add water or anything to it uh, or the oil but it doesn't make a difference um, you have to use the medium it is not a premix it is more fluid paint but you have to still use medium you don't have to use a lot but and you don't need to use a lot but I just wanted to say that if anyone wanted to try it, um, that was my mistake, just assuming that the medium was just there, you know, if you wanted to use it. I was wrong. Um, you have to use it because, see, now it came out perfectly. And I'm so happy these two paints work really well together because I do want to buy more, more Mont Mart. And I do want to buy more Pouring Masters. And I also found something really cool I saw on another channel. And I can't think of it right now. It's called Primal Flow Acrylics. Um, and it's a huge kit. It, they have all different types of kits. They have smaller ones. But this kit, I'm not saying anything. Because when I get it and when I can afford it, um, it's about $100. But it comes with a lot of different stuff, not just paint. It comes with a lot of different stuff. And I want to do like a big unboxing of it because I'm really excited. Um, and I don't care. It'll be worth it to me because it's really, really exciting. And I want to unbox it for you guys because I never heard of it before. I saw it on another channel. I don't know if they were promoting it or whatever, but um, it doesn't make a difference. It, it caused me to kind of check them out and, you know want to get it for myself and try it you know and the colors look really nice too so anyway let's get into this pour we're going to do like i said we're going to do a little funnel pour and we're doing all metallics today and we're going to use a six by six um canvas okay all right i will be right back <laughs>
I am back. I had to stop recording for a minute and literally in the middle of the pour my son came out of the room and wound up getting something to go into the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen's right next to my little studio area and so I'm running the water making all kinds of noise so if that's what you hear some weird stuff in the background that was him. But anyway I love doing this. I love these colors against the black. I'm really like into this like kind of black negative space background. I'm loving it. And also in the last minute, um, I had decided to add, as you saw, I add some even more paint. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it was like a lot of different gold and I wanted more contrast. That's why I added the black in here and more of that beautiful like red wine color that just for me made it um it just needs something like a little like something in the center so these are the colors again minus the black but obviously you know black is black um but these are the beautiful colors i was inspired by to make this really pretty painting. I'm really happy with it. I love the way the paint is flowing these days. I am just really happy with it. And just like the other painting I just showed you, I hope this dries good. <laughs> but um, I didn't see a lot of bubbles or anything. Um, so that's great. And you know, as long as there's no water um, in this paint, the Arteza premixed are the pouring acrylics. Um, I should be good because it really makes horrible cracks if you add any water. So there is none of that in there. So I'm really happy with this. I hope you enjoyed it. And that it will be all for the um, James Charles Morphe palette for now. But I just want to say that I'm really happy I did this and I got that palette because it really inspired me um, to use some of these colors together. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.